Hello everyone, this is Diane. Welcome to my pretty pink cottage. I'm so glad to have you here. Today is a Saturday and I hope we're going to have some fun today. I'm going to do a little bit of play and it's going to be part of a new series. This is my notebook where I write down ideas for journals and or for videos and for this one I thought I need I really have supplies that I don't use enough so I would like to do a series using a specific supply that I have in my stash so I wrote a list of things that I have and I love and I just need to make the time to use them and um, I'm sure I will be adding to this as I think of more items but what I did was I made a copy of this page let me tell you some of the things that are on the page coin envelopes slides green stamps bottle caps flashcards and etc playing cards doilies wrapping paper book pages file folders so there's more there so these are all things that I want to play with and make things with and I just either don't think of it or I just don't take the time so what I did was I made a copy of this page and I cut all of these things apart and do I have it here? Oh, here it is. I cut them all apart and I just had them on my table I folded them had them on my table and mixed them up and then just picked one and I'll just keep them in this baggie and it says let's use it that's what this series will be called let's use it unless I come up with a better name but I pulled, I wanted to pull it ahead of time. I thought it would be fun to do it on camera, but then I would have to gather my supplies and you wouldn't want to sit there because I don't edit. So I was happy with what I pulled today. It is book pages, book illustrations, actually, book illustrations. So I have these little, little pouches that are just full of book illustrations. This one looks like um, botanical. This one is children. This one is people, I think. Yeah, it's people. This one is animals. And here we have miscellaneous. So I have all these pouches I can pull from. And so I thought, what am I going to use? What am I going to do with all these illustrations? Well, I also have this little box. Look at this little box. You can't even see the box anymore. This started out as a little box that I was putting in pieces that I wanted to make ephemera with, and I just kept piling stuff on top, and then it's just sitting over there on my table, and I forget about it. So I thought, well, I'm going to get this out and use it. There are some punched circles that I could make some ephemera with, and these pieces that are just cut, and I could make um, pockets, tags, or journal cards with them. And then these plain white, they're just index cards with no lines on them. And all these other pieces. So hopefully I can use some of this stuff um, for and using the book illustrations. And these were in this box also. And these are just cardstock pieces that I mod podge napkins to, thinking I could do something with them later. Probably won't use these for the book illustration project, but maybe these. It depends on what I come across for book illustrations. This piece that I stamped and then I just punched something out of it, but I could use that. And these were sitting there. So this is something I, I took out of a children's book and I've been wanting to do something with it, um, but I don't want to cover up the backs because it's a whole thing. The week's calendar, Monday, watch the bubbles fly. <coughs> Sorry, Tuesday, see the wash get dry, etc. And so front and back. So I'm just going to do something real quick with this. I thought I will just make a little booklet with it. So I'll just cut these out. And that way I can put this away and it won't be sitting on my desk with taking the risk of getting ruined. Because this is an old, old paper. It's not super, super fragile which is good because I can't back it with anything if I want to use all of the days of the week. And these are wavy lines, so I'm kind of trying to, I'm not being super careful, but I'm trying to follow them a little bit, not cut too straight. This is my book illustrations. I'm going to 
put it in the baggie so I don't lose it. Except I don't know where I put the baggie now. Okay. Set it right over there. And I'll probably lose it. Make sure I have them all in the right order. Okay, this week's calendar. Well, how did that happen? The Monday is over here. Hmm, because this was on one page. Well, it's going to have to be that way. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Friday. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. Well, that's disappointing. But, um, so I think I am just going to put some brads in it. I think that's going to be how I put this book together. Quick and easy. I will just put some holes in there. And I'll go grab my brads. Let's do something colorful because it's children's book illustration. Some of these large colorful breads. How about the green? Lime green. easy. Oh, I found my baggie. I'll put this in here. Because I, I'm sure I won't use all my big book illustrations today, and besides I'll be adding to my book illustration collection. And then I can just crease it a little bit. So it will open like a book. There's no journaling space on here, but the person could color on it, or even write little notes on their dresses. If they wanted to do that, Wh wherever, whichever book it ends up in, and whoever gets that book, I'm just going to put it in my handmade ephemera stash for now. There's one done. All right. This is the miscellaneous pouch, so let's take a look. About a couple of houses. I like the houses. I could spend weeks going through my book illustrations and making things, couldn't I? Oh, that's fun. There's another little house. Okay, that's enough. Let's see what we can do with houses. I'll try to plan ahead a little bit more the next time so I can... I was hoping to get something that wouldn't take a lot of forethought, and this was perfect. But some of them, like um, coin envelope maybe, I'd really want to plan out what to do and take a little more time. So I'll try to plan at least the day before 
before I do the next one of these videos and get, you know, maybe make some samples and then get my supplies ready and do a video. And that way I'll start using some of my things that I have and I love and I need to use. As I'm cutting this out, I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to look at some of those ready cut pieces and see if it'll fit on any of them. I think this might make a cute pocket. Pocket decoration. I filled up both of my bottles with my Fabri-Tac before I turned on the video because they were both getting low. And the funny thing is I just got it started pouring and you know you have to be careful and watch what you're doing and have the bottle in one hand and then the pouring bottle in the other hand and as soon as I started pouring my nose started itching. But I kept on pouring. As soon as I set that bottle down I itched my nose. Oh here they are. These pieces. Oh there's another one. Is that one I got out? I think so, yes. All right. Oh, this is folded. I think I need something to contrast with the black and white. Or, no, this. That could make a fun pocket. I'm not going to try to do anything fancy. Just want to use some supplies. punch the top of that. Looking at washi tape possibilities. This is not very tacky, so I'll be able to pull that up easily if I don't like it. I mean, I can find it, but I can't pull it up. There we go. I like that one better.
might have stuck. This one is a little bit tackier than the other one, but just want to make sure, so I'm going to use glue. So I'll twist it up. Taking a little break from the Mechanical Sea World journal that I've been working on. Today is Saturday, but I do want to do some work on that today because I didn't do anything yesterday. I took the day off. I spent the morning cleaning and baking, and then my mother and my sisters came over to watch a movie with me. I, I um, purchased a digital copy of Downton Abbey, A New Era, the new movie. Whoops, sorry. And then my mother and my sisters came over and we watched the movie in the afternoon yesterday. With My dad made popcorn. He makes great popcorn, the kind with the kernels that you have to put in the pot and then, and then stir. It's got a thing inside. You just crank the handle and it stirs the inside and it was salted and buttered just perfectly. I'm looking for what kind of ink I want to put on that. Let's try Rusty Hinge. And it was really, really good. At least, at least as good as um, movie theater popcorn and maybe even better because it wasn't as greasy. It was really good. And then I made brownies and my mom can't eat wheat so I made uh, coconut macaroon cookies because they don't it doesn't have flour it's more like a meringue cookie and she loves them so I made coconut macaroons and brownies and and we had a fun day this does not show up very much it just makes it a little darker which is good didn't want it to be too much of a contrast or anything just to give it a little something around the edges and I think that will make a cute little pocket in a journal I do want to make a journal or two with a home theme that features images of houses and windows and doors and stuff like that because the home images um, I just love the images of homes little houses and cottages and things like that, like that so maybe I'll if I make something with all of these little home Im images I'll put these in that collection of materials I'm collecting for that project. So anyway, I didn't do any crafting yesterday, so I would like to do some work today on that uh, SeaWorld journal. use that for a tag. Maybe make another pocket with that one so I can make two tags and two pockets. That sounds good. I might find some little book quotes. Let's see. I had another. Oh, here. This goes with my pouches of book illustrations. It says small cutouts and words. 
if I had any quotes about home, I could use them. When I cut up children's books, sometimes I take the time to... Good for me and good for all. To look at the words and cut some out. That's a good reminder. Now off you go and mind your manners. But I suppose I should look through these when you're not watching. But it just has little images for when I need something small. I can look in here. Cute little mushrooms. Oh, there's a tiny little house. Yeah, I'll look through these, and I'll look through my books sometime while I'm watching TV or something. They're not small enough to go in there. Now this has a dotted line here. Oh, it's actually perforated. So I'll put some tape on there, or paper or something. I have lots of little scrappy things in this box too, like that. Came out of a children's book. I like this design better. Yeah, I think I'll use that. I thought the other one shows up more, but it doesn't need to be a strong contrast. I feel like it needs something behind that. I think I stamped on that. This doesn't quite reach the ends. I centered it so there's just a tiny little bit, but because it matches more than contrasts, it's not that noticeable. If I had used that side, it would have been more noticeable. But I didn't know I was going to put some up there until after I cut it and thought, oh, looks like it's the right length. higher and then maybe I can put some words down there even if it doesn't have to do with a house or a home I could find some words to put there
And I think I will put some lace here rather than put a hole in there. And I will sew around it, I think. And then there'll be room on the back for journaling. on there, which I don't mind. It's vintage photo that I'm using, but it's got traces of black in it from this because I apparently used my vintage photo one in the black. So there's one pocket and one tag. Let's see what I can do with this tiny one. You know what? I want to add something else to that. Just a number or something. Let's keep it in the green family. here and hopefully I'll have room for words anyway. And if not, it doesn't need words. One of those circles, I think. It's a nice sturdy paper. why there are pencil lines drawn around. Oh, I know. This is for when I, for when I was making um, the book that had the hole all the way through it. So some of them have a hole on top, or have a line written on top, a circle, so that I would know where to put my die to cut the circles out. a scrap that I can punch a contrasting circle to put behind that house. Oh, I've got scraps here. What are you doing? Go through your stuff here. That's a possibility. There's a tag. Maybe I can put a book image on there. Just do punch some out and see see what we like. I 
I think I like that one. The flowers, I think, would compete with the illustration of the house. I like this color with it. I don't know about the number zero though. Zero is not very interesting to me. Maybe the three. Or the eight. I just didn't want the mushroom on it. Okay. We'll just make this. Um, and that can just be a little embellishment. On a page, on a pocket, whatever we decide to do with it. If you know stuff that I have in my stash that I don't use that much um, and you'd like to see me use it, you can offer some suggestions and I can see if they're already on my list or add them to my list. If you've watched my flea market hauls and stuff like that, you might know what I might have in my stash. Not sure how much of this I want to keep, but I would like to keep the tree. It will fit on there, but that's a pretty big pocket. So I'll probably want to make it smaller. Sorry if I was out of view. Oh yeah, that'll work, because I can trim that off. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little bit more closely to the tree. Yes, I won't edge punch the top of that. I'll just round the corner after I glue the stuff down.
to change the pad this time. I'll use the vintage photo around there. Doesn't seem to be showing up very much. up my vintage photo pads very quickly. This is not very juicy anymore and I don't use the re-inkers because I don't know I just they don't, they're not the same. Do you all like the re-inkers? Maybe I should buy one and give it a shot rather than replacing my uh, vintage photo <clears throat> ink all the time. If it needs something else when I use it, I can add something, a little bit of trim or something to it. Now I have this black and white, or cream and black. Came out of an old magazine. I just love that little, the shape of that cottage. use that if I put something colorful behind the house. I think these are too pale. Oh, that looks cute. Can you see it? Address. That's a house number, 209. I like the colors of that.
yeah, I think the colors of that are the best. So for this one, I'm going to glue stuff on before I cut the angle because I might cut a little bit of that along with it. And nothing else is torn, so I'm going to cut this straight. Just have enough time to finish this, maybe. If the camera cuts out, I will just say thank you right now for watching. And tell me what you think of this Let's Use It series. And if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see me use. if you have stuff in your stash that you need to do this with. I know you do. We all do. I'm not squeezing any more glue out. I'm just smearing around that drip that was hanging off the end of my nozzle. I think I just want to make a little line around that. this one. I will sew some lace to the top of that also. So we got four pieces of ephemera done with book illustrations, two tags, and I uh, used a lot of green today, especially in the tags. Two pockets. And color-wise, these could all go in the same journal in one just embellishment. So that was fun and I used up four little tiny book illustrations. <laughs> but I also used up some other things that I've been wanting to use. So I think that was productive. So who knows, maybe I'll do some more of this tomorrow. But for now I'm going to clean this up and have some lunch and then get to work on my um, mechanical sea world journals journal. Thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you think about this series and uh, did you craft along with me today? I will see you in the next video. Oh, we did this also. That was a quick project. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you're having a creative day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.